really hugely about you know Michael's past and Sam's past and how these people came to be who they are and and also how they've developed as characters over the course of the show because they're not the same people they were and so you know this year is a lot about okay Michael's this guy who started the show without any really close friendships, no close relationships, kind of an island unto himself. Five years in, we don't get to play that anymore. He's not. You know what I mean? He's a guy who's... So, you know, now he's moved in with Fiona. And um, and in a way, it's everything that we might ever have hoped for him as a person. And the season is about just how terrible that is for him as an operator. Like, and and the stuff that he runs into later in the season, uh, having gotten a lot of what he thought he wanted, uh, it turns out to be far, far more challenging than, than he expected. And so, and that's and that's impacted by Sam and Fiona and everybody on the show. So. A, a good, a, a, that's actually a good question. Um, I mean, one of the things that I didn't really talk about on the panel is, is that one of the things about the, the movie is it really does um, one of the intentions of the movie like above and beyond its existence as a separate movie is part of an overall thing that we're doing to build out all of the characters on the show and really get into their backstory and relationships and stuff like that so over the course of the season you know some characters from the show recur um, Things that are established in the movie become important for the series, and um, and the so seeing the movie, I think also our, my intention was that it would make watching the show a richer experience and give us more places to go in the future with Sam, um, because yeah, because ultimately it's not just about doing. A, Prequel. If, if it's a prequel that doesn't pay off in significant ways, then it's not worth doing. So. They approached us about the idea of doing a comic, um, and we'd always wanted to do it. We'd always talked about it because this will sound really wonky and lame, but it's just true. Like there are certain things that you can do in a comic book that we can never ever do. Right, because we're shooting in Miami and we shoot on set in seven days. And so, like, uh, showing Michael, something as simple as showing Michael on a hill, there are no hills in Florida. Like, so just like, if we ever want Michael on a hill, better happen in the comic book. Like, Michael walks uphill. Comic book. That's it, right? Um, you know, Michael is, Michael is in snow. Comic book. Uh, so, I mean, we did a little bit of that on the show, but, you know, that's that's a big technical challenge. So, so seeing, the other thing was, the show is largely about seeing a spy in a non-spy context. We do more stuff in a spy context this year than we ever have in the past, but showing some of that CIA world, which is really the province of other shows. I mean, it's over the fairings in the USA. Um, but it's not something we do a lot of on Burn Notice, and so seeing some of that more traditional stuff is something that was well served in a comic book. So I guess the short answer is we were excited to do it because in the comic book, Michael can go to other countries that don't look like Florida, and uh, Michael can do things that are really spy-tastic that we don't really do on the show. It was really well done. It read like you were watching an episode.